Hello, I'm Kieran Amos and I'm your Chief Fire Officer and I'd like to introduce you to our Integrated Risk Management Plan. Now, that's our method of looking at all the risks in the county, those people risks, place risks and all of the impacts that occur in our county that we need to manage. We want to utilise all of our resources to our best effect and that allows us then to ensure that we serve you in the best way possible and that you are not only safe but you also feel safe too. So here at Warwickshire Fire Rescue Service we want to make Warwickshire a safer place to be, to work and enjoy and prosper not only now but also for future generations. We strive for continuous improvement and change and to deliver the best possible outcomes for you, our community. Which is naturally why we want you to help us shape that Warwickshire Fire and Rescue Service plan and to tell us what it might look like over the next five years. We really do value your input. Our Integrated Risk Management Plan, also known as our IRMP, will run from 2020 to 2025 and sets out our vision for the next five years. We will continue to work with partner organisations in health and social care and we're already starting from a really great place as a County Council Fire and Rescue Service where so many of those services that are in your community we're already highly integrated with. This is to make Warwickshire be the best it can be, sustainable now and for future generations. But we do need your help. Your views are really important to us and we want you to tell us what you think of around our plan and we want your engagement. Your views are so important to enable change and to help modernise our service and that we can better serve our communities. There are five different themes that we think we should focus on over the next five years. Now primarily the first one is about people which I'm sure you would uh, expect from what I've just said and this is to ensure our workforce and ethos reflect the diverse communities that we serve. We have richly diverse communities and we need your input to ensure we better reflect our community. We want to be an inclusive organisation and we know that more diverse organisations perform better. The second focus is around assessing our capabilities to improve our ways of working in response to any future pandemic and this has of course come about from the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic and I think we've learnt an awful lot from this. I feel that we've better connected with our communities and we have a better understanding of how we can identify the most vulnerable people in our communities. We've worked really well with partners and there's more that we want to understand around this. The third area of focus is to assess our overall resource capacity to ensure our personnel who are our greatest asset and our physical assets are in the right place at the right time to deliver our statutory duties but also those broader prevention opportunities as well. And it's really key that we get this right and it's evidence-based. So we've already done some really good work to understand where our resources should be against that risk profile, against the county risk, and then it's making sure that they're best developed for the future to meet those needs. And again, we need your input on that. The next focus area is to develop further opportunities to support the wider community in terms of health outcomes and to help protect social care, uh, adult social care, children's services and our National Health Service. And again, we're doing some great work around this already. We have a service called Hospital to Home, uh, which is where our fire personnel actually go to the hospital and help the hospitals discharge vulnerable persons, actually taking them back home and settling them in with a wraparound care package and we believe we can expand upon this even further. So there's lots of offers there and again we need to hear from you about how we can improve this. The final one is really important to ensure that we're ready for the future and that we're modernising and that's about implementing digital solutions to enhance our service delivery. There's a big project that's going on at the moment called the Emergency Services Network and that's the main mobilising system for all the three blue light services and that will have different impacts upon our service that will improve the arrangements that we have and also critically it links into how we provide risk critical information to our crews at incidents. So just a feel for some of the digital work that we're doing but again really need your input around that. So over the coming days we'll be sharing a video from various members of our staff from Warwickshire Farm Rescue Service explaining the different themes so that you can further understand our thinking and share our views. Please do engage, you can help shape Warwickshire Fire and Rescue Service and we need your help.
Thank you.